हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर तेज आई एम योर तेजीब सर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ न्यू एक्सरसाइज रिलेटेड टू द न्यू टॉपिक ओके एंड दिस न्यू टॉपिक वी हैव अ डन सो मल्टीप्लाई विथ आउट रिग्रुपिंग दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू learn today so now first of all let's check here today's quote and then we are going to learn new exercise so let's check here today's quote today's quote is what all students a book is a dream that you hold in your hands a book is dream that you hold in your hands understood got my point all students then now let's check here today's content today's content means what we are going to learn today let's check here and Un understood all students today we are going to learn revision first of all then after exercise number 4d today we are starting here the exercise number 4d then question number 1 multiply without regrouping which question all students multiply without regrouping then after question number 2 multiply regrouping once and then question number 3 multiply regrouping twice all examples means a multiply without regrouping regroup once and regrouping twice this all are those all are things we have done in previous sessions again i am telling you now basis of this all example today we are going to learn exercise uh, today we are going to learn new exercise exercise number 4 d so now students here we are starting the exercise number 4 d understood here we are starting the exercise number 4 d equation number 1 multiply without regrouping what all students multiply without regrouping here see here all students exercise 4 d equation number 1 multiply without regrouping got my point all students so now one by one let's check here all students i hope you all are sit with your book and important topics and important notes you always you mention in your book okay and don't forget to write these all some understood all all my dear students and you you have to prepare your own sums understood you have to prepare your own answers and then after you check by the pdf or book okay so now here here we are starting the exercise number 4d question number 1 multiply without regrouping so now let's check here the uh, question number 1 and question number b what is the question number 1 and what is the question number b now let's here we are going to learn so 48 multiply by 10 what all students 48 multiply by 10 48 multiply by 10 okay we don't know answer first of all we here do the multiply and then we write the answer all students i hope you all are remember the multiplication step or i hope you all are important notes and i hope you all are remember all instructions okay how to do multi multiplication and how to solve the multi multiplication sum got my point all students so 48 multiply by 10 how can we write as like that students 48 multiply then 10 understood 48 multiply 10 and then we should be write as like that so here how many digits are here all students four digit okay four digit and here 10 is down so 10 of this zero that is uh, that is a compulsory zero so students that's why we are putting here this compulsory zero means this zero this 10 of this zero we are putting as it is here zero understood got my point all students one is a 8 okay so now sorry zero here we put and then after this one multiply with 8 and multiply with 4 so one eight za then after comes one four za understood first of all what do what to do here 48 multiply by 10 10 of this zero we are putting here uh, same and then after this one multiply with 8 then one multiply with 4 understood 
got my point all students so we do here first of all we put the zero here then after one multiply by eight means one eight za eight and then one four za four got my point so answer is what all students 418 answer is what we got here 418 understood got my point all students now we move on question number b let's check here the what is the question number b so question number b is what 10 multiplied by 86 so what should we write that time always always we write the bigger digit on top side and small digit right in downside so 10 is bigger or 86 is bigger obviously all students 86 is bigger than to 10 so what to do 86 multiply by 10 what all students 86 multiply by 10 i hope you all are uh, remember a uh, point means a step and method of multiplication means multi multiply method what to do that time that time we put this compulsory zero means this 10 of this zero we are putting as it is means the same place last side our right side okay means right side means here is right side okay so 86 multiply by 10 10 of this zero we are putting as it is then after this one multiply with 6 and multiply with 8 so what to do that time 1 6 za then after 1 8 za okay this zero we are putting here then after 1 6 za and then after comes 1 8 za got my point all students so now do here zero here and then 1 6 za 6 1 1 6 za how many all students 6 and 1 8 za 8 so what we got here answer 860 60 not a 16 understood 1 6 is not here 6 0 60 okay 86 multiplied by 10 is equal to 816 so we should be right here the answer is like that 816 understood got my point all students now we move on question number c and question number d so question number c and and question number d let's check here all students question number c and question number d so question number c is what 10 multiply by 11 what 10 multiply by 11 so what should all students 10 is bigger or 11 so 11 is bigger than 10 so we should be right here the first we write here the 11 then after 10 so 11 multiply by 10 okay opposite here same uh, as like mul multiplication table means tables okay 1 to 10 tables as like how can we do 1 1 za or 1 2 za 2 1 za what answer same answer okay 1 2 za is equal to 2 and 2 1 za 2 so both answer both answer is similar so that's why here multiplication we do as like 10 so 11 multiply by 10 10 of this 0 we are putting here same means as it is 11 my uh, 11 multiply by 10 10 of this 0 we are putting as it is uh, on the all, st all students we put as it is here 11 multiply by 10 10 of this 0 we are put as it is then after what to do all students 1 multiply with 1 then 1 multiply with 1 means 1 1 za 1 then comes again 1 1 za 1 okay so 1 1 za 1 and 1 1 za 1 so 11 multiply by 10 is equal to 110 what 11 multiply by 10 is equal to 110 got my point all students then after the question number d let's check here the what is the question number d 700 multiply by 10 what all students 700 multiply by 10 so 700 is bigger that's why we are right in top side understood then after multiply with 10 so what to do all students 10 of this 0 means compulsory 0 we are putting here is is here downside understood and then after 1 0 za 0 then after 1 0 za 0 1 0 za 0 and then after this this 0 is compulsory 0 means 10 of this 0 then after 1 0 za this 0 again 1 0 za comes this 0 comes and 1 7 za means 7 got my points this 0 
this both zero means any number multiply with zero so multiplication product or answer is zero understood got my points i hope you all are remember that all point understood so answer is what 700 multiplied by 10 is equal to 7000 understood 700 multiplied by 10 is equal to 7000 so answer is what all students 7000 then after the exercise number 4 d what all students then after exercise number 4 d question number 2 multiply regroup once what to do here all students multiply regroup here we group with once only once means once dc so now let's check here one by one we do the all sum understood all students one by one we do here the all sum exercise number 4 d equation number 2 multiply regroup once multiply regroup once i hope you all are understood betterly then after let's check here the question number one of multiply multiply regrouping once so question is what all students 205 multiply by 3 question is what all students 200 and multiply by 200 sorry 205 multiply with 3 okay and then question number b is what 127 multiply by 3 this all sum students you try to on self solve the on self and then after we are going to learn and we are do here how to solve this sum so let's now you try it try it in your book okay and then after after one minute we will be start the solve this question number one and question number b so now students you do first of all what should you do you write the question 205 multiply with 3 what all students 200 multiply by 3 205 sorry 205 multiply by 3 and then to try to solve this sum and then after 127 multiply with 3 try to solve this all sum all, all means both this sum and then after what to do all students then after we are solving here understood so now i hope you all are do properly all students compulsory you have to do in this your book in this book so what to do all students here how many d is it top side three d is it 205 and down is three means 205 multiply by three so what to do here here is no rules for compulsory zero understood then after directly 205 multiply with 3 so 3 multiply with 5 then 0 then comes 2 so 3 5s are how many all students 3 5s are or 5 3s how many 15 3 5s are 15 or 5 3s are 15 so 5 here and 1 as a form of carry 3 5s are 15 or 5 here and 1 as a form of carry then after 3 0s zero are 0 means any number multiply with 0 so multiplication product we get 0 we get multiplication product 0 3 0s zero are 0 but here don't forget to count this carry so 0 0 plus 1 so is equal to 1 here then after 3 2s are 6 how many all students 3 to the 6 very simple question is here okay again i am re repeat you repeating for you all students 200 205 multiplied by 3 is equal to we got 615 what we got 615 got my point all students okay now again 3 5s are how many 3 multiplied by 5 3 multiply by 5 is equal to 3 5s are 15 so 5 here and 1 as a form of carry then after 3 zeros are 0 plus 1 means 1 we got here 1 then after 3 2s are 6 3 2s are 6 so answer is what 615 answer is what all, st all students 615 got my point all, st all students now let's check the question number b what is the question number b so question number b is 127 multiply by 3 
127 multiply by 3 so i hope you all are with all are stood you all are do with me understood and you must be right in your book now with me all all students okay whenever you explanation part you listen properly that time all think is not we are uh, we are we are do the remember some notes or some method or some calculation we must be right in our books so after whenever using of this notes so we don't forget understood now now let's check here the question number b what is the question number b again i am telling you 127 multiply by multiply by 3 127 multiply with 127 multiply with 3 understood so what to do here first of all this 3 multiply with 7 then comes 2 then comes 1 so 3 7 is how many old students 3 7 is 21 7 3 is 21 understood both are same answer 3 7 or 7 3 is 21 21 of 1 here and 2 is a form of carry got my point all students 7 multiply by 3 is equal to sorry 7 multiply by 3 is equal to 21 1 here and 2 is a form of carry then after 3 2 is 6 6 plus how many old students here 2 carry 6 plus 2 7 or 8 so we put here the 8 then after 3 1 is 3 as it is understood so answer is what what we got here answer also done th 381 we got here 381 here we got 381 got my point all students i hope you all are understood okay again i am repeat here repeating for you all students question number a and question number b 205 multiply by 3 205 multiply with 3 so 3 5 is a this 3 multiply 5 3 5 is a 15 5 here and 1 as a form of carry then after 3 0 is a 0 means any number multiply with 0 so we get we get the multiplication product as a 0 so 0 but 0 plus this carry 1 so 1 here then after 3 2 is a 3 2 is how many old students 6 3 2s are 6. Got my point all students. So 205 multiply by 3 is equal to 615. What we got all students? 205 multiply by 3 is equal to 615. Understood? Then after question number B. Let's check here the what is the question number B. Question number B is 127 multiply with 3. 100 27 multiply by 3 so 3 7 is a how many old students 3 7 is a 21 1 here and 2 is a form of carry understood 1 here and 2 is a form of carry then after 3 2 is a 3 1 is a 3 3 2 is a 6 6 plus 2 7 or 8 so we should be put here the 8 understood then after simple 3 1 is a 3 any number multiply with 1 so we get multiplication product a uh, same answer we we go to or get same answer same multiplication number so 127 multiply by 3 is equal to 381 what all students 127 multiply by 3 is equal to 381 understood got my point all students i hope you all are understood and i hope you all are understood betterly again and again i am telling you all students you have to write we have to write in our book okay now this is the question number c and d let's check here the question number c and d so question number c and d is here okay so now first of all we check here uh, we do here the question number c so 280 218 multiply by 4 280 multi multiply with 4 so what to do that time here no rules of 
compulsory zero okay then after this four multiply with eight then after comes multiply with ones and then after multiply with two understood all students got my point so four eights i hope you all are know four eights how many all students 32 8 8 za 8 8 1 za 8 8 2 za 16 8 3 za 24 24 and 8 4 za 32 so 32 of 2 here and 3 is a form of carry understood 34 30 uh, means sorry 32 of 2 here and 3 is a form of carry then after 4 1 za 4 4 plus 3 how many 5 6 7 4 1 za 4 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 how many all, all students 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so we should be put here the 7 got my point we should be put here the 7 understood all students then after 4 to the 8 4 1 the 4 4 to the 8 4 to the 8 so answer is what here all students 20 uh, sorry answer is what all he, uh, here 872 872 answer is what all students 872 understood 280 multiplied by 4 is equal to 872 got my point all students now let's check here the question number d what is the question number d 108 multiply by 8 108 multiply by 8 again i am repeat students 280 multiply by 4 but first of all we complete here the question number d and then after we do the again revision 108 multiply by 8 so 8 8 za how many all students 8 8 za 64 64 of 4 here and 6 as a form of carry understood 8 8 za how many all students 8 8 za 64 16 4 of 4 here and 6 as a form of carry then after 8 0 za 0 any number multiply with 0 so we get the multiply multiplication we get the multiplication product as 0 but 0 plus 6 of carry so 6 and then after 8 1 is 8 understood so 108 multiply by 8 understood 108 multiply by 8 so answer is is equal to 864 understood 864 108 multiply with 8 is equal to 864 good my point all students i i hope you all, i hope you all are understood good my point all students then after we are move on question number 3 what is the question number 3 let's check here exercise number 4d okay what to do here all students here we are learn the exercise number 4d question number 3 multiply regroup a twice what multiply regroup a twice understood so now let's check here its question okay question number one is what here 135 multiply by 6 what all students 135 multiply by 6 so what to do that time all students 135 multiply by 6 6 5 is how many all students 6 5 is 5 5 is 25 6 5 is 30 13 of 0 here 30 of 0 here and 3 is a form of carry 13 of 0 here uh, 0 here 0 here and 3 is a form of carry then after 6 3 is 6 3 is how many all students 18 18 plus 3 how many 19 20 and 21 6 3 is how many this 6 multiply with 3 6 3 is how many all students 18 18 plus how many 18 plus 3 is equal to 18 plus 3 19 20 and 21 so 21 of 1 here and 2 is a form of carry again then after 6 1 is 6 6 plus 2 how many 8 6 plus 2, 8. So, answer is what we got here? 810. 810. Again, I am repeating you for all students. 
6 5s are 13 so 3 here and 0 here then after 6 3s are 18 18 plus this carry 18 plus 3 means is equal to 21 18 plus 19 29 and 21 so 21 of 2 here and 1 here then after 6 1s are 6 6 plus 2 how many 6 plus 2 7 or 8 so 135 multiplied by 6 is equal to 810 got my point all students now let's check here the question number b let's check here the question num number b what is the question number b so question number b is what all students 172 multiply with 7 100 140 sorry 142 107 not here 142 multiply with 7 got my point all students so 100 42 multiply with 7 142 multiply with 7 okay so 7 2 is how many old students 7 2 is 7 1 is 7 7 2 is 14 4 here and 1 is the form of carry then after 7 4 is 7 4 is how many old students 28 28 plus 1 28 plus 1 how many old students 29 29 of 9 here and 2 is a form of carry then after 7 1 is 7 7 plus 2 so again 9 7 plus 2 8 or 9 7 1 is 7 plus 2 carry means 9 so 142 multiply with 7 is equal to 994 what all students 142 multiply with 7 is equal to 994 understood again i am repeating you 142 multiply with 7 is equal to 994 got my point all students and i hope you all are understood better then after question number c and question number d then after we start the new question question number four understood so what is the question number what is the question number C? 278 multiply by 2. 270, 278 multiply by 2. Understood? 278 multiply by 2 is equal to how many now we do? 2 8 is how many? 16. So 16 of 6 here and 1 as a form of carry. 2 8 is how many old students? 2 8 is 16. How many? 2 8s are 16. Got my point, all students. So, so students, 278 means 8 2s are 16, 6 here, and 1 is a form of carry. Then after 2 7s are how many? 14. 14 plus 1, 15. So 5 here, and 1 again as a form of carry. Then after 2 2s are 4. 4 plus 1 means 5 so answer is what we got 556 what we got 556 278 multiply by 2 278 multiply by 2 is equal to 556 278 multiply by 2 is equal to 556 now let's check here the question number d what is the question number d Question number D is 168 multiply by 5. 168 multiply with 5. So what to do? 5 is a how many old students? 8 5 is our 5 is a 40. So 0 here and 4, 4 is a form of KD. Then after 5 6 is a 30. 30 plus this 4. 30 plus 4 is equal to how many old, old students? 30 plus 4 carry. So 34. So 34. How how can we write the 34? 4 here and 3 is a form of carry. Then after 5 ones are 5. 5 plus 3. So 6, 7 or 8. 5 ones are 5 plus 3 is equal to 6, 7 or 8. Got my point all students. So answer is what? 840. 840. 40 got my point 168 multiply by 5 168 multiply by 5 is equal to 840 understood 
got my point all students i hope you all are understood betterly and students your today's your homework is what exercise number 4d question number 1 question number 2 and question number 3 you have to write in your fair book one time understood and one time in, in your rough book thank you so much all of you thank you all